it's Leviathan again, and I've got another footage for you guys from my Leviathan universe. This here is going to be a second storyline for the second hero that I have introduced to you guys in previous footages. It's also a first-person perspective, so no hard feelings if you feel a bit confused on who's talking. It's about a character known as Denstrini, and it basically is a actually very efficient individual, I have to say, and, you know, it might not be as long as Madame Shear's storyline, but at least it's something. And here's the storyline, and hopefully you could be able to catch up. Dance Journey number one, the Diana Hora, created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames at July 12, 2015. Hello there, audience. My name is Dentrony. Some call me Deborah, Debbie, Trevors, and some call me by the name of Deetalus. I'm 7 feet 6 inches tall, weigh 450 pounds, have deep red eyes, long and luscious black hair, and I'm also the offspring between a demon mother and a general father, despite that I was put to adoption by Dr. Betty Trevors of the Paranormal Defense. Other than being a hybrid, I also possess a huge right arm made of a demonic stone with solid spikes on the knuckles, along with being engraved with demonic runes, and possess the ability to ignite into flames. Other than my demonic fist, I also wield a huge revolver called the Condemner, which if you ask me is enough to amputate the arm of any human who uses it, and also wield a wavy steel dagger, both of which I got from my adopted mother. Enough of all that stuff now. I'm currently on a mission at the Amazon Rainforest in South America, where I've heard that there's some unidentified organism that is devouring the locals. My objective is to at least defeat it, let alone even finish it off for good measure. Wearing a set of hardcore clothes that fit my personal style and is worth wearing in this jungle, I have been searching for that creature for hours, and I think I'm getting bored with all the searching around this joint. Eventually, I'm starting to hear a faint noise from within the trees. Following the sound, I realized that a huge plant creature was attacking a tribe native to this jungle, singing a tune while doing so. And as I watched, I decided to get this all over with. Urgently, I unsheathed my condemner, condemner, loaded it with some grenade shells, and aimed it directly at the back of the monster's head. Click, boom, click, boom, click, boom, click, boom, went my revolver, and as it struck... It made a sound that seemed to be a mixture of a shriek and a roar that proved that it got hurt. The creature. Almost instantly, it used its tentacle like vines to turn towards me, and I found it had no eyes and a sharp toothed mouth big enough to swallow an entire Hummer in one gulp. Who shot me? It started yelling in its surprisingly feminine voice. Quickly, I started jumping into the trees like a monkey and left ten feet in front of it. You're lucky those weren't herbicide shells, you would be dead by now. I am Dentrony of the Paranormal Defense, I said to it. Well, you should pay for shooting me, the Diana Hora, otherwise known as Audrey. She then started sprinting as she used her vines as legs and attempted to grab me. But I then grabbed a vine with my stone fist and ignited it into flames, making the so-called Audrey scream in pain. Outraged even more, it finally grabbed me and attempted to eat me. Luckily, as soon as the Diana Horror opened her mouth, I loaded my revolver again and shot a dozen herbicide shells into her gaping jaws. Finally stunned through nausea, I pulled out my dagger and stabbed it in the top of her skull, and then finished her off with some ignited pummeling. Finally, Audrey fell to the ground in defeat, more dead than alive, and singing a gloomy tune. I then sighed and finally said, Finally, my work here is done. And before I left... I saw the natives come out of hiding spots, and I replied to them, saying, She may not be dead, but at least you don't have to worry about her for at least a month. Enjoy your time. And I walk back into the dense jungle. The End It may not be as a long story as Madame Shear, but at least Dent's journey was potent. And I just hope you guys find that shorter but efficient storyline as exhilarating to some extent for you guys. And even though, even though I've been going through some hard times personally, at least I've been trying my best to keep things efficient in the long run, if you know what I mean. 
So everyone who's out there who's listening to this footage, just leave a like and comment and down below and share and subscribe if you want. It's your choice. And to be able to help me succeed in the establishment of my Leviathan universe. Until the next footage, it's I'm Leviathan and hope you guys enjoyed your time examining this footage and listening to me and so forth and so forth. Thank you to everyone here and transmission.